Hi everyone, I'm Raga Olga De Silva, or totally out now, as you know me. Okay, hello. A very everyone. warm welcome, Tamba. At Speaking Minds, we continue our focus on sharing powerful stories. We are uh, live right now, and we're waiting for uh, Raga. <laughs> okay, guys, listen, I'm not she going to do my. She seems to be having a bit of a problem. No. <laughs> with her internet. No, not me. Mumbai Cyclone Milan. I'm sure I we've think. got friends. No. We have no so no introduction to Milan Soman, Ultraman, Iron Man, author, co-founder of Speaking Minds with us. And here he is. No introduction. Milan, how are you doing? Kasa Kai Milan. Kai Zala. Milan, you have internet issues. Milan, log back. Log back. He sent to log back. You've got him out. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Well, we are facing a little bit of technical problems, and I hope it is to do with the cyclone. Milan is very excited about being online with us. But hey, you know, in the meantime, for those of you who've joined in, hello, 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 everyone. And please come back if you've gone. Tana, Sophia, Nishikant. And many, many more who are waiting for us. Nicola will bring them, bring Milan back. And uh, like I said, it is the other side series with Speaking Minds. So you will see the other side of the speakers that we bring in, including a very, very endearing Milan Soman. And uh, for some reason, he's facing technical issues, which uh, we normally don't have. Preeti Shah, Nishikant, hello again. And, uh, you know, we are excited about bringing Milan Soman. I don't know, in the meantime, while he finds his way back to us, I'm sure you all know about this amazing person. He's an Iron Man, an Ultra Man, an author. He's written a book called Made in India. If you haven't picked up a copy, you must, because it is very, very interesting to know his life story. And um, apart from that, he's an amazing businessman, an astute businessman. And Milan, you're back. Welcome back. Can you hear me? Milind, if you say you can't hear me. Me? If you can't hear me, I'm going to start singing. People will run away. I can hear you. you can't hear me? I can hear you very clearly. Oh, fantastic. Now you're back. So I've done all the introductions. People are waiting for you. And I was going to have my charming line saying, Kasa, kasa ahi Milind. <laughs> kasa kai Milind. <laughs> <laughs> so why not fast? I thought you were about everything fast. No. Okay. I'm about finding your own pace. And what is that pace? And everybody knows their own pace. Find your own pace and do everything at your own pace. Fantastic. And you'll get, you'll get much more done when you're going at your pace than trying to do somebody else's pace. What a brilliant way to start. Milind, I know you very yeah. well. You know how you travel. We know you travel consistently. You're never in one place. Sometimes I forget which city you're in. How are you but managing? Now I am. I know, but how <laughs> For oh, the last 65 days. 65? 75. 79. 80, something. I don't know how many days it is 79. now. And I know, you know how I know 79? Because I follow Barkha that very religiously. She says 79 the day of lockdown. So, Milan, how are you managing the confinement? Wow. Wow. Well, uh, with great difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been easy. I mean, it's, it's, it takes a lot of getting used to when our lifestyles now are so, um, so busy, so active, and especially in terms of travel. Maybe earlier it wasn't like that 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but now... It's just, uh, you want to meet someone, you want to work somewhere, you just travel, you go there, you do it. It takes a couple of hours. And that's what we're now used to. You know, we're, eat, we're eating different kinds of food. There's so many new things happening every day. You're seeing new places, meeting new people. But for the last 79 days, you're just stuck at home uh, trying to make sense of what life is. So and, how... Uh, yeah. So it's it's not it's not easy to get rid of that baggage that you've accumulated over the last five years or ten years or fifteen years, and uh, look at look at the way the situation situation is 
through a new perspective. And when I'm saying new perspective, it is your perspective. How are you personally going to deal with this? It's not about how anybody else, the government is doing what the government is doing. Businesses are doing what businesses are doing. As an individual, as a person, what do you need to do? Wonderful. That's that's so. Just to get to that perspective is difficult. You know, there's so much confusion. Sure. You're but wouldn't you as about a person, coronavirus right? and yeah. what's that? But you as a person, you're so active. How are you managing yeah. the time? That's what I want to know. Exactly. Well, as you know, the most activity takes place in your head. All right. And that's once you get a grip on that, then controlling everything else becomes, I think, easier. But getting a grip on what's happening inside your head is tough. Is very very tough. So most of all, adaptation uh, is about controlling your mind. You know, disciplining your mind, stilling your mind, seeing the situation for what it is, not worrying about it, not being afraid of it. seeing it for what it is and then doing whatever is necessary that you have to do to to be where you want to be that's it it's how it's, you, it's how all you, in the head you know so this is these are words right and words from people like you who live that oh, life yeah. how, how, how i did it how i did it and i think which which a lot of people do is to create a routine for yourself routines are very comfortable routines are very calming we are most often we panic when we don't know what's going to happen what are we going to do what is happening outside where are we going so once we create that routine in our mind that when i wake up in the morning i'm going to do this after this i'm going to do that and after that i'm going to do that for the whole day you create your routine with exercise with food with work all of it in that schedule and then of course things keep happening like you can't hear me on internet and you know all yeah, of that of course but but once you've got your routine it becomes easier to see things in a perspective and that routine is made up of very simple things it could be as soon as you wake up you make your bed you know you brush your teeth that is in the routine you have your breakfast or you have your bath or you have so you do whatever you have to do the simple things the simple everyday things put them in that routine and and enjoy them be mindful about them right but you run so that kind of that what i used that's what i used to kind of keep grounded and sure. not kind of get panicky about what's going to happen and where i'm going to go and how i'm going to get things done the million things that you want to do and as far as exercise goes uh, of course i'm used to running on the road right and uh, and you you normally think that that's the freest thing that you can do what do you need i mean i don't even wear shoes just get out on the road and you run right you don't need a gym you don't need equipment you don't need infrastructure but now you can't run on the road right so yes so you so you have to figure out something else like you might love uh mongolian food <laughs> but now you can't get it right so, so then again you have to think about what what is it what are you going to eat that is best for you sure right and in these exercises you actually uh go back to the basics okay you know you really go back to the basics and understand again what is important so most of the time we're quite disconnected our lives have become so fast we are physically disconnected we're mentally disconnected we're emotionally disconnected but what this has also done because now we are forced to think of the basic and the mundane and the usual and the routine we are grounded and we are connected i i think i think of it like that we are grounded and we are connected once again and that is always a great place to start so so in your case milind i know that you are doing a lot of exercise up and down the stairs 100 floors 150 200 300 floors you say to me you know, most times i'm like okay 100 yes. push ups is like nothing for you and i know you're staying active you're staying active with your mother who's nearly 80 years old and your wife right she's so over 80 years she is over 80 right so is it important to bring in that support system for us as well as as the as a general person so if i have a partner if i have kids do i bring them together does that help well obviously when you're in a situation that is tough and that's any situation it's always great to have support and in this particular situation the good thing is that we are all in it together sure. it's not that i have a situation in my office 
where my wife doesn't understand it or my mother doesn't understand it maybe i can't talk to them about it because they don't understand it but this tough situation that we're all going through we're going through together so i think it might be again when we get our perspectives right even easier to support each other sure emotionally be more feel that empathy because they are in the exact same situation that you are they can't do the things that they want to do they're stuck in the same house that you are 24/7 looking into your face sure. you know you, you it's easy it's easier i think to understand and empathize with the people sure. that are with you and again that also grounds you because again we are so disconnected from each other we just want to get the work done and the work has to be done and the work but right. we're disconnected from each other's people yes and again this is a good situation to get us connected to each other again okay so milad on that note i need to ask you this 24 by 7 24 by 7 confinement we talk about right now i know yeah, you yeah. well just don't know you as well so you have you know you you travel so much so you and your wife and your mother basically have amazing lives but you're not together all the time now suddenly you're yeah. confined 24 by 7 and that is not easy for anyone so do you have to work at it that's something that i want to understand you have to like i said if you start from the from the from the understanding that you're all in the same situation it's the same area of frustrations the same irritations all of those you know in probably varying intensity depending on the kind of person you are you understand that and you empathize with it and you hopefully can try to make it better because you understand it so of course i've i have taken up uh, as much of the household chores as i can of course i'm constantly shooed out of the kitchen by my wife because i don't know how to wash the dishes properly but <laughs> but you, you you do you do as much as you can to show that you're there yeah right to show that you're there and and you are there so you you have to do you have to share that load you know so you make your own bed you cut your own fruits you try your hand at cooking you try your hand at, at cleaning up and all of that that you don't normally do sure. maybe because you just expect you just expect it to be done which is how Yeah. you badly were brought up and also uh, you're not at home sure. you're you're in the in the office all day or you're traveling all day then you come home you say okay the house is clean everything is beautiful everything is cooked dinner is ready lunch is ready wow But so who now, do you listen to your mom or your you have to be part of it so who do you listen to your mom yeah. or your <laughs> oh i listen to you have to listen to women <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have to listen to women so <laughs> <laughs> and why so yeah, that's it i mean you you are you are part of this the the whole thing is that we are in it together we're all part of it let's try and share this burden together let's try and make it as much as you can maybe you can't but as much as you can no amount is too little when you're trying to do something good sure. and finally when you're trying to make a, a beautiful positive environment for other people it becomes a beautiful positive environment for yourself Right? But what you're saying it sounds like I'm so, sorry I'm saying this but it sounds easy it seems like wow this is such an idea no no it sounds like an well, easy I said, I, said that, I said that in the beginning it's very tough yeah this is just an understanding it's like you have a project you want to do a project okay and you say okay this project i understand the project these are the things that need to be done now is it easy to do those things no yeah but these are the things that need to be done if you want to successfully complete this project sure. so nothing is easy nothing doing something good doing something interesting doing something well is never easy it's an effort sure it's a mental effort it's a physical effort it's a discipline right sure. so sure. all of those things are there and i think to mentally be strong and i think that is something that we continuously tell ourselves and tell other people mentally you have to be strong it's not about how much i can run how much weight i can lift how much strength do i have in my mind to focus uh, to to concentrate to understand to accept those sure. strengths who i have those strengths like i say when i talk about fitness fitness is not about really not about sport it's not about how fast you can run how far you can run it's not about lifting 100 kilos it's about dealing with life if you can deal with the life that you have chosen right right 
you have chosen a job you have chosen to be married you've chosen to have kids you have chosen these things and if you can if you're okay with that if if you're okay with that you can create that in a positive way that determines your level of fitness so you choose you the life that you can deal with sure but how do you keep this you learn to deal with it? I don't you, know how I keep it alive. Maybe sports plays a part of it there. But sports right now, does play a part of it there because the mind and body are linked. And of course, I've been doing it for so many years. I've been practicing sport and the discipline that goes with sport, which is not just a physical discipline; it's a mental discipline also. Sure. So I've been practicing it for so long that for me to understand and put into action may be a little bit easier than sure. than for a lot of people. But I think even so, in this situation. to take yeah. up exercise yeah. regular exercise physical exercise helps the mind to get stronger sure but you know yeah. you're a positive person so i mean we know that about you but how if you are surrounded by people who are not positive you are positive but you have family members who are in lockdown with you and they are not always positive how do you manage that difficult but but difficult doesn't mean impossible the thing is that you never you never achieve the ideal you never achieve that's why it's the ideal you're always working towards it always working to perfection do you have the perfect situation never are you always happy never right so your your effort is continuous you sure. have to keep making that effort you have to keep moving forward it's you're never going to achieve it but it can get better and better even in minute amounts better and better and be happy with that so one way of keeping motivated is to give yourself small challenges right like people ask me about exercise like how do you keep running i've been running marathons now for 17 years right? right and people some they start and then they stop and they said oh i've been running for 5 years but now for the last 2 years i haven't or oh i used to do a lot of sports in school but now i've done it for 15 years how do you keep doing it all the time So for me the answer has been challenges. I consciously challenge myself very regularly and the small challenges, you know? Like okay, I'm feeling terrible today. I know I can I'm physically capable of running 20 km or 30 or 40 km, but today I don't even feel like running 5. Mm. 5 is very good for me physically. Mentally now I have to say I have to push myself to do 5, but I'll be happy with it if I do it. so give myself that let me just to fight today it's not too little because what is mo- the most important thing about exercise is regularity again it's not about the distance not about the speed it's about regularity so let me do at least 5 kilometers today i know i can do it i choose a challenge that i know i can do i just need to push myself a little bit and when you do that the sense of achievement that you get is a very positive feeling sure even sure. though you know, okay i did something easy but i didn't want to do it was so mentally tough for me but i pushed myself not physically mentally and i did it and so i've achieved something so and it's okay to achieve those little milestones sure so little milestones little milestones small challenges sure so that is really? important sometimes really? we say that oh my god the mountain i've got to climb that and then we don't even try sure right you you can't do 100 push ups do one and say wow i did one my first first time in my life i did one i mean imagine the the, yeah. the sense of achievement there. you did one wow and the next day you think tomorrow i'm going to do two and you do two right and then you do three and okay. then you see how it goes yeah you know i've been interesting small, tiny, tiny there is no challenge too small because sure. it's all about disciplining the mind creating positivity in the mind sure sure Milan, before we started this chat, we basically asked people to send in their questions, and the best question oh. get a book, your Made in India book. Of course, when the lockdown okay. eases, one of the questions okay. that was, and we received many, many questions, as you can imagine, huge fan following, girls across all age groups, as we know. So, one of the questions that came up, which was very interesting, from Somya Anand, and Somya, I know you're online. Thank you for uh, participating. She says. Is she? Oh, Somia is always going to tell you. Somia is always the first person to ask me a question. <laughs> 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 Maybe she's asking. Well done, Somia. 
Wonderful. And your well, well, well. question amongst yes. all the questions is very, very interesting question. So she is yes. asked, to be the best version of myself, should I be competing with people ahead of me or should I be competing against myself? I think the question has the answer in it, right? You want to be the best version of yourself. You don't want to be better than anybody else. So you, you remove that uh, comparison from your head that somebody is better than you. Remove that comparison with people who are behind you or people in front of you or people anywhere. There is nobody. Nobody exists but you. When it comes to you and how you want to be, how you visualize yourself, there is nobody else. It's only you. And like I said, small challenges. Today, I did one push-up. I've never done push-ups in my life. For the first time, I tried it and I did one. And I know it's not a lot, but it's a lot for me because I've never done it. And that's great. So tomorrow, I will do two. Again, it's not a lot. I know people who can do 500, but I don't care. It's better than what I did yesterday. Yeah, sure. You know, Milan... And, and that comes, and I'm telling you, that is about physical activity. Sure. You can even do it with mental activity. You know, yesterday I was so upset about this, you know, that it rained and I couldn't do this. And today it rained and it wasn't so bad. It's an achievement. Yeah. It is. Just every day we do better, right? If we tell that to ourselves. Yes, consciously. Yes, consciously. Today consciously. I did better. Yeah. Today I was more positive in my thinking. Not all of it. One thought I had that was more positive than yesterday. Sure. Today I exercise a little bit more. One push-up, one flight of stairs. That's it. Got out of bed one minute earlier. Yeah. No, absolutely. It's enough. It's enough really. We are, we, are, we are constantly waiting. And what you're saying to us, you don't have to wait. Yeah. Every day you do something. You like don't have to wait. And the thing is, and the thing is, it's okay to be patient with yourself. Right. It's right. Okay. okay. It's okay. We know we know our weaknesses. We know our strengths. First, we have to accept those and then work on them slowly, gradually. Yeah. We have our whole life yeah, for us, to be yeah. the best. The whole life, you've got 20 years, 30, 40, 50 years more. Or if you're 90 years old, maybe 10 years more. I don't know how, what you think. But even you have 10 years more, you yeah. get better. I mean, so even yeah. if you're one year more, million, it's a year more, right, for us to... Absolutely. The mascot of Pinkathon is 105 years old. Yeah. Still working, 105 years old. Started running at the age of 93, still working towards wow. breaking the world record that she made last year. Fantastic. I mean, I, we can't yeah. even imagine that, right? Yeah. Not even imagine. But yeah. it is possible. Yeah. Just to the audience. And I'm where you can compare, and, and it's not even a comparison, it is being inspired. When you look around yourself and you see so many people who are facing huge obstacles, I mean, all of us have problems, but you can imagine. Somebody who is recovering from cancer or somebody who is blind, visually impaired, somebody who's hearing impaired, somebody who has some big issue, but they are, have overcome that and have achieved amazing things. Sure. And you don't have to even do what they did. Just do what you can do. You can do. That's it. Amazing. Uh, just to the audience, uh, Milan, just if I can share, we've got another five minutes with Milan because Milan has another commitment. However, we're going yeah. to do part, part two of the show again by huge popular demand. So we've only got five more minutes. So I'm going to keep it very, very brief. But Milan, while we're talking about, you know, fit mind and fit body, I want to talk about unconventional. Oh, is that what we're talking about? Yeah, but we're talking about everything about Milan, the other side. So we've got to have lots more conversation, right? But most important, there has been a lot of requests that I've had to talk about this particular subject, which is about unconventional lifestyle supposedly right. unconventional lifestyle that you have chosen for yourself. For instance, you got married to a woman who is much younger than you. So is there something yeah. that you can talk about? And I know that you have partners who also live unconventional lifestyles. And I know it is Pride Month. So is there something that something that you want to talk about? They seem to want to know this part of you. Well, all my life, uh, actually, I never thought uh, of, of the conventional and unconventional. And maybe I was privileged, but I just did whatever I wanted to do. And of course, I am not maybe I was privileged. I am privileged. And uh, I just did whatever I wanted to do. So I did push the envelope. I did do 
things that other people may not were not doing uh, in every part of my life. So whether it was sports, you know, whether it was as a model, whether it was a, as an actor, whether it was as a business person, uh, I did things that uh, were not usual. That is, this is in retrospect, you know, and people tell me this. In fact, I read uh, somewhere on uh, the internet uh, just the last couple of days is that, you know, people have an idea of me depending at what age they discovered me. Whether they discovered me when I was swimming, they discovered me as a model, they discovered me as an actor, they discovered me as a business person, they discovered me as a runner. At what age and at what part of their life did they discover me? They know me as that person, you know? So it because I've done things the way I wanted to, not because of the things that were expected of me. And I know, again, that to do those these things may have been easier for me because of, of all the privileges that I have. Let's not get, go into that. Uh, but um, we have to keep fighting for what we believe in. We have to keep fighting for what we believe in. And that's the only way the world will be a better place. And when I'm saying a better place, it's uh, a more uh, uh, equal place. And when I'm talking about equal, I'm talking about equal opportunity and a less judgmental place. Sure. But whatever you want to do, whatever choice you have, it's your choice and your life. And you're free to make that choice and live your life the way you want. Sure. There's and lots we must continue to fight for that. These are the only things, two things that I think are supremely important. Sure. Right? To make the world an equal, a place of equal opportunity and to make the world a place where there is no judgment. How wonderful. Of choice. Especially during Pride Month, it is a most wonderful message that you're giving, Milan. I'm aware that you are very short on time. And there is, yeah. I want to know more about your unconventional life and your stories of adulation and the other side which we haven't uh, touched upon today. I also want to talk to you about your Made in India book and the stories sure. in the memoir, but we will leave that for part two. Next week, we will come back uh, to, you know, the audience will come back next week again with Milan Soman. We will share the date and I'm getting hundreds of messages as we are speaking. Thank you everyone for participating. I wish Milan you would Thank stay. You yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Baba. I know I'm sorry, but next week, look forward to seeing you again. Thank you, and we have so much more to talk about. Thank you, Milan. Thank you for giving your time. Speaking minds. Hurrah for speaking minds. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Milan. And audience right. next week. See you soon, Milan. And and those bye -bye, bye -bye. and those watching bye, you. you can find us on Speaking Minds Global Facebook or at Totally Out Now. And stay safe, stay well. We'll see you soon.